Hi, how you doing? I didn't want to drive. Hi, <laughs> right, right. What place are we going? Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go I know we're pretty good. We've got some problems in these. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Hey, Darren. I wish they'd stand by the door there, Dad. What? Hey, hey, did you want to get in? I ain't going to go. We'll get in this thing. <laughs> Jeez, come on, let's go eat. Let's go eat, man. Let's talk about this. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're on your own. You're not Hi, how are you? Good. Do you want to get in the picture or no? Oh, no. I'm not reporting, Jenny. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Mike, you ready? Can you kind of give them a brief idea which way to go? Let's say we don't know where we're going. Here's some guys. Cafe Edwards. Midland. Do you know where Valley Plaza? We're taking Dan on a celebration of his retirement. We're going in royal style. We're headed to Cafe Edwards in Midland. After 33 and a half years service, he called it quits. begun a nine-mile round-trip journey along the beautiful and scenic lower region of the Wisconsin River. Just a couple regulations we must abide by while we are touring today, but it's really nothing too serious. The first one is by the Coast Guard. That is a do prohibit smoking aboard the vessel, so we do ask you not to smoke. And secondly, we do have to ask you to please remain seated during the duration of the tour. Now we do make an exception to that second rule. We realize this is a sightseeing vessel, so to get a better view or angle of a rock formation by all means. Feel free to do so. But if you could please return to your seats within a reasonable amount of time, it's both for your safety, just so we don't block the view of the other passengers. We take all the pictures back to the Dallas here each summer. We work our way through college, giving guided boat tours here on the Lower Dallas. So at this time, I'll hand the microphone over to Claire. She's going to take care of the commentary the way down the street. Claire? Oh, good morning, everyone. Beautiful morning here today. It's like it's going to stay that way all day, too. I'd like to welcome you aboard with a little sign. Welcome to the riverboat. The mighty fine riverboat. It's guaranteed to stay afloat. Just in case. Can everybody swim? Welcome to the Lower Dells. The captain knows her waters well. And your story we will tell. Be sure and stay awake. We're gonna learn some history. Unravel a couple of mysteries. And tell a couple of fish stories. We hope you take the bait. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Patrick. Patrick's his name, and we're glad he came on the boat that floats on the river. The boat that floats on the river. As the captain and the guide. And the treasure tucked inside. Well, you know who you are. We're gonna need a volunteer. Someone brave enough to steer. In case the captain disappears into a local bar. Sandbar, that is. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Michael. Nice to meet you. Well, Michael's gonna steer if there's danger here on the boat that floats on the river. The boat that floats on the river we know as the old Wisconsin River. Welcome aboard, everyone. 
Now as we travel along the Wisconsin River today at Lincoln, uh, first off we're going to be looking for what Mother Nature has carved for us as a tribute to Wisconsin the dairy state. She's carved us a cow inside of an old fashioned milk bottle. Now to find it, look off to the left hand side of the boat all the way up to the top of the cliff until you come to that semicircular overhanging ledge. It sticks out about three feet and is about five feet wide with a bush growing on top of it. And that forms a cap to our old fashioned milk bottle. There are two cracks or crevices following down along the sides of the cap, forming the outline to our glass milk bottle. Now if you look about a third of the way down on the inside of that bottle, you'll notice a darker portion of sandstone. Well, that forms side of the cow. Elsie the cow. Her nose is pressed up against the left hand side of the bottle facing toward home board. She has a perfectly shaped eye and a half circle for her ear. Mother Nature's tribute to Wisconsin Dairy State. Now this is the most difficult rock formation to find on the Lower Dells if you can't see it. Well, that's all right. We'll show you a picture a bit later on during the tour, and we will point her out one more time on the way back upstream, especially for those of you guys sitting on their land. How many can see the milk in the bottle? Oh, quite a few people have good imaginations. For the rest of you who couldn't see the milk in that bottle, though, it was probably just past your eyes. <laughs> We are traveling along the Wisconsin River today, and the river does originate at Lakeview de Serra on the Wisconsin Upper Michigan border. It travels in a southwesterly fashion down throughout the state, and it empties into the Mississippi at Wallaloo Sink State Park near Prairie du Chien. The river is about 430 miles long, and its depths here in the Lower Dells range between 10 to 30 feet throughout. And many of you, this is not due to any sort of pollution whatsoever. It comes from an acid called tannic acid which comes from the sap of tamarack trees and the tamarack swamps in northern Wisconsin. Now it is a very common and natural dye. It's found in many different types of things, such as coffee, tea, Coca-Cola, and even in some types of clothing. Back to the right. That's right, that's a duck. One of the original green and white Wisconsin ducks. Uh, they are the original vehicles from ship to shore. They are amphibious vehicles. They have six wheel drive on land and they can turn a 21 inch top of the water. Baby Grand still lies there today with its perfectly shaped left leg leaning up against Pulpit Rock and its keyboard and music stand pointed straight toward the it is a historical landmark. That's where hard rock music originated. Wisconsin was and is home to many Native American tribes, and one of the largest of these tribes was the Winnebago, now known as the Ho-Chunk. The Winnebago was comprised of many different clans, and one of these clans was named the Bird Clan, and they at one time settled along this right-hand shoreline. Now, the reason why they settled here is because of our next point of interest, it's called the Hawk's Beak. And to find it, fell along this right-hand cliff line all the way out to the end, until you come to three ledges which protrude against the sky. Now you'll notice that the top and the bottom ledge do form the top and the bottom of a hawk's beak. The middle ledge forms its tongue. And if you use your imagination, you can see the slit for the eye. And if you fall a little further way back yet, you can see the outstretched left wing as the hawk soars over the Wisconsin River. That was the Thank you. 
say that the sandstone is the result of hardened sedimentation which was left by the Cambrian Sea over 600 million years ago. Now the reason why the sandstone is still here today is because when the last of the great glaciers came down out of the north, they missed this portion of the state of Wisconsin on the dry just as did. They say that the glaciers split north of here, went around us, came back together again further south, and it smashed its way into the Midwest. When this glacier finally receded back into the north, however, the glacial melt waters did flow through this area, and that's what carved out the river bottom that we're traveling on, as well as all the rock formations that we are viewing. The geologists also tell us that we are looking at some of the oldest exposed bedrock in the world. Mount Snow today is Creek Camber in our pot sand sandstone. You'll find it in only three parts of the world in any great quantity. Pot sand Germany, Zurich, Switzerland, and right here in Wisconsin Dells. Let's head back to the tree line. These are the remains of an old riverfront saloon called the Purple Greco. Now this is part of a town called Newport, which lines its right hand shoreline back in the 1800s. And it poured right out at the end of the 19th century, however, because a train bridge was built about three miles up the street from here. The people of Newport knew that wealth and prosperity would be following the new bridge, so they packed up their belongings and moved to it, forming a new town called Kilbourne. Pretty much leaving Newport a ghost town overnight. But it's a good thing that the people left when they did, because the forest fire raged through this right-hand shoreline and destroyed everything in its path, save for those ten stone pillars and one house located on Lake Bill. Now you might be wondering, well, whatever happened to that town in Kilbourne then? I never heard of it. Well, we've all just left there. In 1931, they changed their name to Wisconsin Dells. Well, Wisconsin Dells is derived from two different languages. Wisconsin is a Chippewa word, and it means dark, rushing waters. Dells is a French word, and it means flat layers of rock. Now you put the two together, you get the dark, rushing waters through the flat layers of rock. Wisconsin Dells, a very appropriate name for the area that we're traveling through today. Just be this hollow part, Sweetheart's Cave, because you can see an upside-down heart through it. 
If you didn't see that heart, maybe you saw her cheese kiss or a teardrop. Or maybe you just saw a big hole in a big old rock. As we're circling Lone Rock, you can take a good look at the sandstone. And the sandstone is very soft, of course, beneath its hard outer crust. If you were to break off a piece, you'd be able to crumple it right in your hand. Hmm. It's also the reason why the trees are able to grow right out of the sides of the cliff. They do dig their roots back as far as 40 to 50 feet in search of the moisture pockets that are hidden within. That does on the major portion of the commentary this afternoon. I hope you've all enjoyed yourself so far. We do have a bird. Uh, I don't know where they're at. Let's be inside your homes. These are migratorial birds. They do fly up to the Dells area each spring of the year from the Orinoco River Valley Basin in Venezuela, South America. Build their homes, raise up the three young ones per nest, and around mid August they. Question today, this is Matt. I'm going to say hi to Matt. Hi, Matt. Now we are about to embark on a 15 mile round trip tour of the beautiful and scenic upper the dells of the Wisconsin River. In what is Gulf, the Coral Canyon type walk, very pretty back in there. Then we'll cross the bay over to Sand Rock, where we'll watch It'll the world famous do. dog jump. Then we'll turn around and start heading back down the street, stop at our third and final shore landing at the Old Water Canyon. And when we get a little bit closer to these stops, I will explain a little bit more about them. While you are riding aboard the Bellboy with us this afternoon, we have just a few requests for you. First of all, we ask that there is no smoking while you are aboard the boat. We are sitting on a rather large fuel tank, and the bellboy boat designed to float and not fly, so if you could please refrain from smoking, it would be greatly appreciated. If you'd like to smoke on each of our shore landings, please feel free to do so at that time. Secondly, we ask as much as possible to please remain seated while you are aboard the boat. So if you do need to stand up to get a better view of a rock formation or a picture of something, please feel free to do so. We just ask you to find your seat as soon as possible after you complete that. Thirdly, we ask you to collect any garbage or trash over the course of the trip. Please do the trash and have a great time with us out here this afternoon. Do take a look over either side of the boat. You might notice the water is kind of a brownish tint to it. Now this isn't due to pollution or anything of the sort. Up in the northern part of Wisconsin, Wisconsin River flows through a series of tamarack swamps. Now the tamarack tree is up in these swamps, secreted acid known as tannic acid or tannin, which is just a natural dye that makes them in the water makes it this brownish color. Now tannin is in no way harmful to any fish, animal, wildlife, or human being. In fact, it's found in the beginning of
kind of run y'all. Now, you'll notice the most column of that. It looks like a stack of pancakes. This is what we call chimney rock. Now, chimney rock had a same because it does resemble the old stick and mortar chimneys of the Pioneer Log Cabin. Chimney rock is a direct result of wind, water, and frost erosion. Chimney rock is passing on our right.
Well, every single day for three years, one of his customers, her name was Eunice, always wanted just one bottle of milk. Every so single sad. day for three years. Until so one day, Dan came to the door, and it had the number 16 on it. Well, he thought maybe she made a mistake and grabbed the wrong number, but just a double check, he knocked on the door. But excuse me, Eunice, but every single day for the past three years, you always wanted just one bottle of milk, and now you want 16. Are you having a party or something? She said, no. Tonight, I'm going to take a milk bath. Dan said, a milk bath? She said, yes, a real milk bath. So, being the brave milk man he was, he said, would you like that milk pasteurized? She said, no, just past my knees. Uh,
is inside a canyon, a uh, little walkway that we took off the boat. too wide make it through there. <laughs> 